Technical solutions for managed aquifer recharge at Los Arenales Aquifer, Castilla y León, Spain. Los Arenales Aquifer is a sandy groundwater store of 7,500 square kilometers located in the autonomous region of Castilla y León, Spain. Since the mid-20th century, the expansion of irrigation has led to a decline in groundwater level of more than 20 meters. This early and sand aquifer, with basins up to 55 meters thick, is also very vulnerable to drought. In order to mitigate this impact, the Spanish Ministry of Agriculture developed to manage aquifer recharge facilities in three pilot zones. The project, building works, tracking and further monitoring was entrusted to Traxa Group, a Marshall project partner. After more than 10 years of operation, Marshall intends to provide technical solutions for MAR technology in order to improve the facility's efficiency and also nearing the MAR technique to agro-industry, the main activity in this area. Due to variable river flows, annual volumes recharged in the main pilot zones ranged between 0.5 and 12.2 cubic hectometers at St. Eustace Basin and between 0.5 and 5.5 cubic hectometers in Carracillo Council between the years 2002 and 2012. The river water was supplemented with 0.5 cubic hectometers per year of treated sewage effluent since 2005. Most of the facilities and MAR devices are integrated into the hydrogeological routes, Caminitos del Agua, for little paths of water in Spanish. Proposed by Dinamar project in 2009, strengthening the demo site character of Los Arenales Aquifer. Technical solutions at St. Eustace Basin, hydrogeological route. Pioneer system at Los Arnales Aquifer includes about 850 hectares of irrigated fields, a surface that increases every year. There is an isolated sector in the aquifer of about 50 square kilometers what grants a living lab to study processes and facilities efficiency. It has also become a good example of sustainable use of groundwater in a rural zone. Stop S1, dam of derivation for Mar from Voltoya River. At the Santista Basin site, Voltoya River water is diverted for recharge by gravitational flow through 9 kilometers of buried pipes to the heading recharge device. The dam has a specific design with filters, diversion and decantation structures on its west side. It has also been equipped with these side racks. Stop S2 Heather of the MAR facilities, decantation pond. The heather consists of a big decantation pond with the size of a football pitch after a flow rate counter, a filtering system and some high diameter buried wells in the heading of the aquifer. These short of wells are useful and invisible, providing a tech soil advice. Do not close the well, reuse it. Stop S3. St. Eustace Marshall Triplet, wastewater treatment plant by Lagunin, biofilter and artificial wetlands. The Lagunin wastewater treatment plant pours treated water into the canal, which conserves the natural vegetation in this stretch, working as a green biofilter, until the point where the canal has a spillway, opening case of floods or extreme precipitations. The presence of the base of the aquifer close to the shallow water table permitted the construction of two artificial wetlands with an interesting flora evolution that helps finishing the water purification process along the triplet. Once treated, water comes back to the following Mar Canal. Stop S4, La Iglesia Pond, an example for a degraded wetland restored by means of Mar technique. This dried pond was restored by means of a specific Mar solution. The salinity is achieved by the interaction between recharged water surface flow and the salty sediments on the shore of the wetland, allowing the permanence of a bacteria colony and a shelter for waterfowl. The genesis and use of biominerals and soil deposits are also studied in these points. Stop S5. 
Kachin Station in Voltoya River close to Coca Village. The recharge is allowed as far as the Voltoya River maintain an environmental flow. The compliance of that condition can be checked by means of a real-time flow meter in a Kachin Station connected to the River Basin Authorities, Duero Basin Confederation. Flow rate must be over 1,000 liters per second, otherwise recharge is banned. Stop S6 running well in the Eresma River Bank inversed RBF. At the north of the basin there is an inversed river bank filtration system. Water is collected by a rainy well, star well with horizontal galleries. Using the Eresma River Bank as a filter, water is pumped and transported to a treatment plant to decrease the natural arsenic concentration and purify the water in order to be drinkable. This treatment plant supplies seven villages with tap water involving this industrial agent and its stakeholders in the Mars system too. Technical solutions at Alcazarén Hydrogeological Route. The newest facility based on the capture of reclaimed water from the waste water treatment plant complements the irrigation of over 800 hectares. Stop A1, Alcazarén Wastewater Treatment Plant. The wastewater treatment plant has been redesigned in order to divert a part of the reclaimed water to the MAR operative scheme, together with a water harvesting canal which collects the run of water from the village. Stop A2 Filtration devices, infiltration ponds, canals and ditches. Small scale infiltration ditches and ponds can be managed by the farmers according to groundwater level in their own wells and pisometers. Without the farmers, this smart recharge would not be feasible. Thus, the win-win scheme is ensured as they are the main beneficiaries of the groundwater storage. Stop A3 Diversion Dam and RBF. This is a single dam in a river close to irrigation areas. Its location converts the river, which receives water from the aquifer, in a located recharge system through the banks, as the dam is over the water table far from any superficial mar facility. That way, water table rises in near wells. Technical solutions at Caracillo Shield Hydrogeological Route. Caracillo is the biggest mar area in Los Arenales aquifer. There are over 7,500 hectares of irrigated land and promising related agro-industry, especially dedicated to the package and exportation of vegetables. The main crops are strawberries and greens. Mar is managed by Caracillo Irrigation Community, responsible of the collective activity. Stop C1. Diversion dam for mar from Thega River. The dam in the Thega River was specifically designed for MAR with a direct diversion to the stagnation pond. At the end of a gravity-fed pipe, there is a fishbone-shaped structure with nine different valves pouring into sump pits by gravity. No energy is consumed to move the recharged water in this passive system. Stop C2, infiltration pond in an old sand pit and artificial wetland. The presence of a sand extraction site used for construction and the complex dune system allows the decantation pond to act as an artificial wetland and also as an interdune filter. These are examples of the adaptation of pre-existing structures into the MARC scheme. Stop C3. Infiltration field for control the spreading. Marsol, Sida NS station and piezometric bulb. The second exit from the backfish structure is used as an infiltration pond in the main storage area. This device has been complemented with a data set collector station with multiple sensors for the Badoz zone and 10 crossed piezometers in order to monitor the wet bulb's shape in advance. An extra volume is used for flat and controlled spreading by means of dead-end canals after a detailed study of the topography. The infiltration rate is measured using the sensors in the Seda NS3 station, allowing the real-time monitoring of the recharge in the aquifer. The whole system can be considered as a triplet 
integrated by three elements, stagnation filter and infiltration pond, biofilter canal and artificial wetland. This design shows a good performance and an advanced tech solution arising from our solar project. Stop C4 Gomez Serracin, decantation and infiltration ponds and canals. The next exit is close to a village in a pine area surrounded by irrigation field. A multiple decantation design allows an extra water quality improvement. Concrete vessels allow an easy cleaning of fine sediments and clogging materials, showing another important tech solution. Stop C5. Narros de Cuellar, channels and infiltration ponds for irrigation and environmental purposes. The water pipe located in Narros ends at the big infiltration pond used as a wildlife refuge and at the same time a recharging device. Furthermore, there are little infiltration ponds among several pig farms connected with the supply wells, though linking directly the mar activity with the agro-industry in the area. Stop C6. Narros de Cuellar, Malucas River Dam to control the water table. This dam has a double function. On the one hand, water is stored for its direct use. On the other hand, and the most important, the water table is maintained locally at a level higher than its peak. Thus, groundwater is closer to the surface in the near wells and the energy consumption for pumping gets lower, allowing important savings in irrigation, up to 48% of energy consumption. Also, a higher energy efficiency and another example of sustainability. This is one of the most important tech solutions in Los Arenales Aquifer arising concern for the increasing cost of energy in agriculture. Conclusions. After a detailed characterization of Los Arenales Aquifer in Castilla y León, Spain, different building works were performed in a permanent improvement, converting the demo site into a living lab which evolution is monitored by means of benchmarking and indicators. Once commissioned and constructed, the works were transferred to the communities of farmers, pointing the need of collaboration of people directly involved in management, cleaning and maintenance as a key of success for MAR activities. The demo site site has become an example of MAR technique to combat groundwater over exploitation. The storage of water would allow the irrigation in the area for three years with no rain, minimizing the risk for the associated agro-industry. Initially, some farmers resisted the new organizational structures, but this was solved through negotiation and informing their respective communities on sustainable development, environmental awareness and hydrogeological processes, including the applications of MAR, with a subsequent decline in the price of water and in the costs of pumping. Apart from the agro-industry, the activity also mobilizes water supply and treatment agents, environmental groups, the public administration in care of water and wildlife, municipalities playing an important role in mar management, and public-private partnership schemes, as well as plenty of industries and small and medium enterprises whose wells exploit mar groundwater resources. The mar methodology has driven to a tested know-how for general rural development through technical guidelines for the implementation of MAR under different boundary conditions, plus a permanent modernization. The examples of success are quickly shared with the commoners. MAR maintains and increases the industry, which depends on groundwater availability within the assembled network. This living lab provides examples of public-private partnership and decision support systems involving different agents and administrations. There are still many issues to solve and research to be done to mobilize industry and small and medium enterprises in this area, especially related to vegetables packing and exportation, for MAR technique to reach the front line that deserves in water management. Sabes lo que te ha fallado.